video. So as you would have seen by today's title, it is the What's On My Christmas List video. Now a lot of work has been going on behind the scenes to get this video done for you all. So I really hope you enjoy. Um, this video is probably one of my most excited videos to film for you. Um, as you can see, there's loads of goodies in here and there's loads of goodies in here. Um, but that'll all be explained in a minute. In this bag is uh, stuff for me that was on my Christmas list. And in this bag is stuff for the horses that was on my Christmas list. So I think we will go for my stuff first. So I pulled out the first thing. This is from CT Equine Collection. I will link all of these products with all of their um, links down below in the description. So if you see anything that you like, don't forget, click, your, click the link down in the description and you can shop it and maybe add it to your Christmas list as well or get it for a friend that you think might like it. So let's get everything out from the CT Equine Collection. I think there's one more thing. Yep. Right, put this back up. So, they have very kindly sent me a pair of socks. Everybody needs a pair of socks. These are great Christmas fillers. And I don't know whether anybody else has the problem, but I seem to start off the year, every Christmas I get so many pairs of socks. I start off the year with tons and tons of socks. And then by the end of the year, there's no socks left or no matching pairs at least. So I don't know where they all go. I put them in the wash, they all come out of the wash, and then they just all disappear. But well, they're very easy to lose, aren't they? So here are the black CT Collective um, socks, competition socks, because they're nice and thin, so they'll go over like made to measure boots. So if you have De Niro's or my Alberto Fiscani boots, they're perfect for those. Next up, we have the, I just want to make sure I'm getting the name right, the Hunter Green. Uh, set so we've got the leggings I wear a size extra small in, in these because I am between a six and an eight in both tops and bottoms so they're the leggings and then these are the base layers I absolutely love the colour hunter green I just think it looks so smart and yeah and then the front and back I will do a try on thing um but yeah and then how am i gonna get in this i have probably opened everything beforehand should i because this is gonna be a very messy video um and then we've got the gorgeous coat who doesn't need another coat um and this is in the size extra small again so this is probably like a six to eight um so yeah i forgot to tell you all of the prices so for the CT socks, they are seven pounds. Again, perfect stocking filler. Um, the jackets are 45 pounds. These are perfect for winter, um, nice layer. And also they look super smart. So I probably wear this when I was at a show as well um, over the top of my show jacket to keep it clean because Dora, as many of you know, likes to spit on me quite a lot. Right. Then we've got the base layer again. So the base layers are £30, which I think in the base layer and legging market is very, very reasonable. Um, I don't think that's a bad price to pay for a really good quality base layer at all. And then we've got the leggings and these are £35. So you can actually get yourself a full set. So base layer and leggings for £65, which I don't think is bad. Um, and I must say, these droppers, the full seat sticky grip, are the best around. I have worn my other pair so, for so long and the sticky hasn't worn out, it's not lost its stickiness and yeah, it's very sticky, which helps me stick to all the horses that try and get me off at the minute. I did have a lot of fun scrolling down their website 
and choosing this product because they have a lot of funny items. So, they gave me a lovely tote bag and it's really beautifully wrapped and I don't want to unwrap it before this video. So this is from Horse Hussy. Again, everything's gonna be linked down in the description, so if you like what you see, don't forget to check that out. Um, and yeah, look, it came so nicely. So I just didn't wanna, I didn't wanna rip it open before showing you guys. Right, oh God, this is like really well wrapped. Okay. So I got this in a size small. And we got Freshly Out of Bucks. <laughs> they have so many funny slogans, jumpers. Um, and yeah, you just have a right laugh just looking down at them. Plenty more designs to come. Um, so yeah, I will insert a video of me wearing that in a minute. For this horse hussy jumper, these are retailing at 39.99. Um, which I don't think, again, is bad for a jumper at all. Perfect stocking filler, perfect gift to maybe get your mum or your friend or someone like that for Christmas. Or you ask for it on your Christmas list. <laughs> but yeah, I think that that is a very reasonable price for a good quality, thick jumper. And now for the things that I have been most excited to show you all. Um, I messaged this brand because I worked for them in January this year and I absolutely love all of their products. And if anybody knows what this is, you will understand how excited I have been. Let me just lay this down because I'll actually get into the other products first. So, Big brand is Aztec Diamond, and if you're like me, you're just as obsessed with Aztec Diamond as me. Um, so to start off with, we got these gorgeous, these are probably gonna be my favorite competition leggings. These are the beautiful stone Aztec Diamond uh, competition breeches. I got these in a size six, and for size reference, they fit me absolutely perfectly. I'm 5'7 with really long legs and I'm between a 6 to 8 in um, bottom so I definitely suggest size down. Um, I absolutely love the fact that it's got this sock material at the bottom. I find it so hard to find competition breeches that fit my leg. I feel like this is just such a good design because it's stretchy and it's also thin so it will fit over competition socks and your boots. So without like literally squishing your um, calf in to your boot. So they've got a silicone grip system on the inside of the knee. They're also extremely breathable. Um, I don't know whether you can see the material here, but it's got breathable either side. And it's also got uh, foam pockets either side as well, which are perfect for storing your phone. Because I feel like, oh, I'll just, just take them out. <laughs> I feel like I hate having a phone in my competition jacket because A, you can see it in the photos and B, it just, it just like sticks in you, doesn't it? So if you can have it and it's in your thigh, then that's just perfect. Sorry, I haven't added a price for these. These are 120 pounds. Yes, 120 pounds, um, which again, for a quality set of breeches, I don't think it's bad at all. Um, next up. We have the Aztec Diamond Jogging Bottoms. These are in like a jersey material. And again, I always find it so hard to find joggers that fit my leg and my waist because I'm lanky, I've got spidey legs, but these fit absolutely perfectly. Um, again, I will obviously show you a video of me wearing them in the end, but let's just explain them. So they've got high-waisted and they've also got a drawstring. Um, they've got cuffs at the ankles so that they don't rise up, which is the most annoying thing that I find about most joggers. Um, I got this in a size small, which is an eight, because I prefer the oversized look. But again, I think I could have definitely gone for the six and they would have still fit fine. They would just been a bit tighter on the leg. Um, these are 40 pounds, which again, for a quality set of joggers, I mean, these lounge joggers that I'm wearing at the minute, they're 55 pounds. And I actually, 
big hyperphthalates. Um, just the fit of them um, is so much nicer. And the quality as well. Uh, right, before I show you this, let's show you the last thing in my stocking, which is the Aztec Diamond Coat. Where's the third thing? There it is. Ah, right. I'm totally obsessed with this. This, they have had this out since last year, I believe. And I was so tempted to add it to my list at the start of the year when I worked with them in January. But I held off. But just look at this. How beautiful. It's got the buckle belt for a super flattering fit. It's got a lovely padded inside, which keeps you so warm. Um, let me just undo the belt. It's got obviously pocket there, pocket there. Nice hood, nice big hood. So it'll also fit over your helmet, which is perfect because I will probably wear this when I'm out competing. Because I wanna keep it special. I don't wanna wear it around the yard every single day, sadly, because this is just gonna be a competition jacket. Keep it nice. It looks a bit dirty because it is a horse riding jacket, but I want to keep it as nice as I can for as long as possible. <laughs> so yeah, um, these are £130. This is the belted puffer jacket, if you're wondering. But again, like I said, every, sing every single thing in this video is going to be linked down below. So go check it out. Um, and then, yeah, on to the grand finale. If you don't see a theme of the competition wear, I think you'll get it now. I absolutely adore this colour. So, if you've been looking at Aztec Diamond's Instagram account, um, you would have known they've come out with their new show jackets. And I have honestly never fallen in love with a khaki show jacket more. I've got a black one, I've got a navy one, and I've got a burgundy one. So I didn't want to get the black or the navy, even though they looked absolutely stunning. So I thought, I'll be unique and I will go for the khaki and I absolutely love it. I am absolutely in love. These are £210. Um, again, I think that's pretty incredible for a show jacket. Um, I know plenty of show jackets on the market that are over £350 plus. Um, I won't mention obviously brands, but you get what I mean. So this, when I first received it, I was like, oh, this material feels really weird but it's because it's got a shower proof coating. So it's perfect for the winter. I can wear it in the winter when it's raining and know that I'm not gonna get drenched underneath. <laughs> um, it's also got the breathable material at the back. I'm not too sure whether you can see it, but it's got loads of little tiny holes in. So you're not gonna sweat tons. Um, let me just look at the info. It's very, very lightweight. It has the breathable, holes under the armpits again to prevent sweating so this is a good show jacket for the winter as well as the summer um it's got four-way stretch um and i got this in a size six because i prefer a tighter fitting show jacket so it's more figure flattering basically but again i think i could have got an eight it would have just been probably bigger on my waist um I'm going to go try this all on now and I'm going to show you. staring at this because I have evidence it's been in my room as it's been arrived 
This is the gorgeous Armour Glitter Saddle Pad. How do I get in it? That's a rich bag. How stunning is this? I love the cut of this as well. This is from Shire's Equestrian. Let me just show you the detail of it. Perfect. Right, I got this in a size full slash, I think it's 17, yeah, 17 to 18 inches. This is in the colour maroon. I was going to get it in the khaki, but sadly they were out of stock. But if anyone knows me, you'll know how obsessed I am with the colour burgundy. So I just had to get this. Um, but this is, hang on, let's see how much it is. Click on my notes. So you can get your hands on this lovely, gorgeous num nut. They come in so many different colours as well for $49.99. Perfect competition num nut. I will be wearing this out competing for definite. Um, the inside of it is very interesting because it's like a, a very ventilated material, um, which obviously helps your horse to not sweat as much when they're being worked. And then it just increases comfort, doesn't it? Because if the horse isn't sweating, it's not going to get rubs um, and it's not going to be really uncomfortable and hot underneath the saddle. So keeping your horse happy is obviously main priority. So get this done now. <laughs> tons and tons of research around this safety head collar so let me just start off how much it is this is 49.99 50 pounds so with these head collars you will see this funny contraption but what it is is let me just undo this is poppers like this that attach and unattach instead of the buckles that you get on traditional head collars so i've got actually I've got a head collar down here so on traditional head collars you obviously have this and then on the stellar head collars you have these poppers so what these stellar head collars basically do is provide a safety standard for your horse if your horse is particularly prone to freaking out and pulling back then these will be an absolute godsend for you because what it does is when the horse freaks out and pulls back, instead of the head collar damaging the pole and the um, head and the cheeks and stuff, it just comes apart and just breaks and then drops off your horse. So your horse is free from any situation that it may get itself in, any dangerous situation. Um, I got this in a size extra large because Diane has a very big head. Um, so this is all, no, a large, I got it in, that's a lie. I got it in a size large. So the head collar is made of PVC with obviously stainless steel fittings for the um, buckles, not the buckles, the poppers. Um, and it's made out of a weatherproof material. So although it's not leather, it's not going to get trashed if you use it in the winter. It's got neoprene padding on the pole and on the nose for obviously the ultimate comfort for the horse. There was a survey done before this head collar was invented and um, it was called Mr David Marlin who did the research and he conducted a survey of 5,615 horse owners. That is a lot of owners and what the results showed were that one out of three people experienced a horse being injured because of a head collar. One out of seven people had been injured in a head collar related incident. And 167 horse fatalities were down to the head collars that they were wearing. So when you put that into perspective out of 5,615 people, that is quite a lot of people who are having accidents all because of head collars. So 
The research behind this head collar is all about the horse's safety and the rider's safety as well, because if a horse freaks and the rider doesn't have to, if, and the head collar breaks and the rider doesn't have to then go in and actually free the horse themselves, then it's going to be a lot safer for us as well as the horse. So yeah, I absolutely love this and I will be wearing it on Diane for the foreseeable future. Um, I also got the matching Stella B drope, of course. Had to go matching. <laughs> um, and this is, I believe, £12.99. Let me just have a look. Yes, this is £12.99 for the Bee Drake. <laughs> ones um because they wrap around the pet lock i've got these inside the extra large because again diane being 17 too she is just a giant and she's very big limbed so <laughs> extra large it is <laughs> these are 59.99 and they look like this i'll get them both out look like this they have four Velcros and then one that supports the fetlock and it literally goes, Velcro goes all the way around like that. Because these wrap around the fetlock, it basically offers um, the same support as a bandage does but in boot form, so obviously saving you so, so much time. I find bandaging horses quite long, long winded um, when you're wanting to train them. So having something that is in boot form but acts the same as a bandage is just perfect. The material, you may see it's got a sort of bobbled material. It's easier to see on the inside. God, this felt is so good. So hard to open the boots. These won't be slipping up anytime soon. You can see on the inside the blue material with the little circles. So this is a very breathable material. So again, you can wear these in winter and summer and it means that your horse's tendons aren't going to get heated up in the summer because there's plenty of ventilation provided for the leg. The type of material it is also provides four-way movement, four-way stretch for the horse. So they're not going to be restricted in their movement at all when you're training. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. You can be doing flat work, you can be doing jumping, you can be doing pole work, you can even be hacking. And these boots are uh, designed to be very soft for horses with sensitive skin. Um, or if they have any lumps, bumps, um, injuries or anything, so like little nicks to their legs, then it's not going to aggravate anything. So let's move on to the equilibrium turn up boots. These are the Equi Chaps Close Contact Chaps. Let's get them out of their packaging. I again got these in extra large because of Diane's massive feet and massive legs. Let's check the price on these ones. These are $54.99. Um, I got these for Diane's back legs um, because as you know, she is prone to getting mad fever this time of year. So we just like to keep her legs as dry as possible and it just helps basically fend off the winter elements. Um, let's, oh God, again, this Velcro is so sticky, which is good, because obviously it needs to be if it's in, um, if, oh my God. So these go um, just below the knee um, or the hock and they go all the way down to the coronet band, um, which obviously stops all of the mud getting in. Horses normally get all of the mud fever um, around their coronet band and at the back, especially Diane, because she's got really pink skin at the back. Um, so these are perfect in preventing all the mud from just sitting there and just developing all day and just being rank. So the material of these boots are super, super soft. 
uh, flexible, which obviously means they're not going to be uncomfortable for your horse in the field, um, which is the main thing because it's like when they're out and they're having fun, you don't want them to be uncomfortable in boots just for your own benefit. Well, it is for the horse's benefit, but you know what I mean. Um, so with the four-way stretch, it just allows the horse to be free of movement and not restricted in any way. So yeah, I'm very excited to use these on Diane. Um, because I we do actually have a pair of these already, but these are in a size, the ones that we've got are in a size medium, I believe, which isn't ideal because Diane's back legs are just chunky. So now that we've actually got some ones that are gonna fit her properly, I'm very excited to try them and put them to the test. Stand up, will you? Stay. And to prop the knee there. But five. Five. Can do that. No, 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 no. Let's just turn that one around like that. Perfect. Five air lunches. Our horses absolutely love these grass blocks. And I don't blame them. They smell absolutely delicious. Um, so. Let's read it off here, actually. The air munch is good for helping horses airways, obviously, clues in the name. Um, for any of you that know Diane, she actually has a bit of a dust allergy um, to our dusty hay, hence why she is on haylage, like full haylage. So in these um, nature's finest munch blocks, there is vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, peppermint which is a good obviously source of menthol um and tasty timothy grass which is low in sugar so these are good for horses with laminitis or yeah so vitamin c um helps support the lungs the vitamin d is good for the bones health um and it supports the immune and respiratory system vitamin e works together with the vitamin c to support the lung health um the uh, peppermint is obviously Good to support the respiratory function and then this timothy grass which it is mainly made out of um is really good for naturally high fiber i can't even begin to explain to you how much the horses absolutely adore these and if you actually look on the equilibrium website um there's a photo of jarvis actually tucking into one of these not one of these um i think it was a different flavor but in the net yeah they absolutely love them so i'm sure they can be absolutely thrilled with all their christmas presents um as am i so i just want to say an absolute massive thank you to all of the companies that have gifted me these products to make this video possible i truly cannot believe how spoiled i have been and i am very privileged to have worked with you all um and I just want to put in a special mention to all of you guys, all of you guys sitting at home watching my videos, supporting my videos, supporting the YouTube, the Instagram, TikTok, because it, none of this would be possible without you guys and without all of the support that you give me. And you guys are just all the best. I couldn't ask for a more supportive and lovely audience. The amount of engagement that I've had recently in all of my vlogmases, um, all of my Instagram content, all my TikTok content, you guys are just truly unbelievable and yeah uh, it's just crazy looking down at all this just thinking how lucky I am to be in this situation to be able to yeah work with so many fantastic companies and world round companies as well so yeah um, <laughs> I may also just add that there will be a part two to the video um, because due to postal strikes and royal mail strikes uh, not everything has arrived for this video so I'd say there's probably about a third of the stuff here um, well, between just over half, I'd say, actually. Um, yeah, so there will be a part two, and I hope you support me in that. Um, <laughs> and I'm very excited to film that. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you will join me for part two. Um, so yeah, see you later.